Gromax can be configured on two units. First, the CPU and second, the GPU. When primarily installed, Gromax is by default set to work on CPU cores. With CPU cores, I mean Gromax works by accessing the random access memory, which we commonly know as RAM. As compared to CPU, Gromax run much faster on GPU. For instance, recently I ran 100 nanosecond MD simulation on CPU, which took me 5 days to finish, giving me the speed of approximately 20 nanoseconds per day. When the simulation is allowed to run on the GPU, it took approximately 36 hours to finish with the speed of 72 nanoseconds per day. The GPU provided 4 times more speed as compared to the CPU. Therefore, it is beneficial to configure Gromax to utilize GPU rather than CPU to save computational resource and time while gaining speed. In order to run Gromax on GPU, it is necessary to fulfill the following conditions. The first condition is the availability of the Linux operating system and the second condition is the availability of the graphic card as hardware in your PC. Although having Linux as the operating system is important, but if you are using Windows operating system, you can still able to follow this tutorial. But by setting up Linux shell in Windows using WSL, I guarantee that it will work exactly the same as it works in the Linux environment. But if the graphic card is not available in your PC, you cannot follow along this installation guide and you have to limit yourself to run Gromax on RAM or CPU. It is mandatory for you to set up the graphic card of NVIDIA or AMD or any other graphic card for that matter to configure and run simulation on GPU using Gromax. If you don't know how to set up Linux shell in Windows, please refer to our another video where we have guided you through the process of setting Linux shell using WSL on Windows. The I button on the top will take you there. Considering you have Linux and graphic card ready with you, we will drive straight into the tutorial. First thing we will uh, do is that uh, we will check for our drivers that are set for our graphic card or not. I will show you three ways with which you can check this. And if your drivers are not properly configured with your graphic card, then you can check my description box of this video. There you can find a complete procedure for setting up the drivers for your graphic card. But before that, we will check whether our drivers are set up or not. For this, the first method is using this command NVIDIA dash SMI. You can hit enter. Here you will see the driver version is being listed as this, that is 535.18301, which is the driver version for my graphic card on my system. At the same time, you, you can see the CUDA version also available, that is 12.2. Second way for checking the same information is with the uh, NVIDIA CUDA Toolkits NVCC dash dash version. But before using that command, uh, let me show you the command first, NVCC dash dash version. But in order to use this command, you need the CUDA Toolkit installed. And you can get that using the following command, sudo apt get install NVIDIA CUDA dash toolkit when we will hit enter uh, it will get downloaded and once it's downloaded uh, like you can see i have already done this step before and the cuda toolkit is already installed and is in the recent version or the latest version on my pc but it will take some time on your pc to get it installed as it has very large size approximately 1.5 gb to get installed and after its installation uh, we will type the following command as nbcc version uh, to check the cuda compiler version the, the cuda compiler is 12.02 uh, 
and which is almost equal to the CUDA version which is 12.2 note that uh, the CUDA compiler sh version should match with your CUDA version of 12.2 and if it's not then you need to upgrade the CUDA version or the CUDA compiler version uh, the third method with which you can check the drivers the driver version is properly set or not or driver version of your graphic card uh, with the help of the function mod info nvidia nvidia and we will pipe this to uh, grep function and we are matching just the version name just the version and we, you will hit enter and here you can see the driver version for your graphic card so with this three method uh, you can check whether the driver is compatible or not and if it is not compatible you will go to the video description there and there you will find a complete procedure for upgrading and setting up your driver which is compatible to your graphic card now uh, as we have seen that our drivers are compatible with our graphic card now we will go and install our gromax downloader or gromax installer and try to build it on our gpu uh, for that we will go to our browser and go to gromax download page and copy any two of the links that you wish here i will copy the first one and paste it in my terminal in order to download it through my terminal so as you can see the download procedure has begun so as you can see the chromax tarball file has been successfully installed and is named as this in our root directory and we can check that as well using ls command and here you can see the chromax has been successfully downloaded now uh, we will go ahead and download the dependencies that are required for building gromax in order to be used on gpu for that uh, we will type the following command as sudo apt get install first dependency file is the cmake next is the build essential next is snap next is a c compiler which is of version 11 next is the c plus plus compiler of version 11 and lastly the lib open mpi library note that it is really really important to get the c and c plus plus compilers between the versions 9 and 12 as versions below 9 and greater than 12 will not be supported for the latest gromax and i will hit enter this will take some time for installation on your system as my system has already been installed uh, my system has already this software being installed next uh, we will extract the tarball of the gromax in order to get to the original gromax directory so we will list it we will use the tar command for its extraction and here you can see the extraction procedure has done and we will list it using ls command so here you can see the gromax directory has been prepared we will go to our root directory and delete the tarball file to save some space now uh, we will enter the gromax folder and make a new directory inside it named as build and we can check if the build directory is made or not so yes the build directory is made we will enter the build directory using cd command and now we will write the following code sudo cmake dot dot 
डैश डी जी एम एक्स जी पी यू इक्वल सॉरी जी एम एक्स अंडर स्कोर जी पी यू इक्वल क्यू डा दिस कमांड राइट हियर जस्ट आई हैव मैं हियर दिस कमांड कॉन्फिगर्स द जी पी यू एज क्यू डा एंड टेल्स द क्रोमैक्स दैट इज द क्यू डा कॉन्फिगर्ड जी पी यू now uh, we need to specify the c compiler as well as c++ compiler that should be used by the gromax in order to uh, build its uh, cmek files so d cmek underscore c underscore compiler equal and d c c at two of version 11 is important to mention next uh, i will write the remaining code on the next line and here we are specifying the c++ compiler dc make cxx underscore compiler equal g++ dash 11 uh, next we are specifying the build protocol that should utilized by gromax in order to build on gpu therefore gmx underscore build underscore own equal on next uh, we are providing the cuda toolkit path for the gromax with the help of d cuda toolkit underscore root underscore dir equal and provide the path as e user local comma cuda and hit enter so here you can see gromax has started to build on gpu so it will take some time uh, for it to complete so as you can see the configuration is done now now uh, next step is to compile all the c files uh, using the following command like sudo make dash j npyrock here here we are uh, compiling all the c++ and c files uh, which are the basic gromax files written in the c and c language the c and c++ language and we are compiling it with the make function and we are speeding up this task by distributing the job on all the available cpu cores uh, in my pc and we will hit enter so it will take approximately 45 minutes as it has taken 45 minutes on my system which uses 16 gb of ram and 2.5 gigahertz of processor speed but it will take more time if your pc works on 8 gb of ram with approximately equivalent processor speed so as you can see our compilation has been successfully been completed and we will install this compiled cores into our system with the help of following function sudo make install so it has started installing the code and it has successfully installed now uh, we can check whether our simulation runs on the gpu or not here i will run an equilibration step and see whether it runs on the gpu or not so here you can see one gpu has been selected for this run and if we check the gpu usage uh, using the function nvidia dash smi we can see that the gpu is being utilized nvidia smi so here you can see the gpu has started being utilized started to being utilized it reaches up to 99% uh, which is its total strength or the highest strength or the highest speed the gpu can reach up as the simulation progresses so as you can see 81% speed has been gained by the gpu it will soon reach 99% as the simulation progresses so here you can see that the md simulation or The fifty thousand step equilibration step has been completed, 
and the speed was approximately 50 nanoseconds per day uh, which is sort of less but when you will run the md simulation of longer periods then it will reach a maximum up to 80 nanoseconds per day uh, when you run the simulation on the nvidia geforce gtx like on my system i got the maximum speed of 80 nanoseconds per day so that's it for this tutorial these were the steps uh, that you should follow in order to configure the cpu uh, uh, configure the gromax to run on the gpu so thank you for watching